Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at something that uh, a few people have asked for uh, and this is about working with VSTs that use key switches. Now we've looked before at ways that you can use faders to control things like expression or if your VST has more complicated things like breath or speed of, you know, like bowing speed, uh, you can use a fader to control those things. I have a few different uh, templates that use that for cine samples. But what we're going to talk about right now is triggering uh, key switches. Now, of course, what you could do is use MIDI Learn if you're using, you know, any modern DAW, you could use some sort of MIDI Learn setup with contact to make sure that you're uh, triggering those samples. But sometimes that is a little more work than it's worth. And for a lot of these companies, like Cine Samples, they already have something figured out with a keyboard. Now what I find as I switch back and forth between different VSTs is that I often forget which note on the keyboard is the actual key switch. Uh, and then I have to look it up, which is just a waste of time. So what we're going to do is work with some Cine Samples uh, VSTs and we are going to create uh, the key switches with just a button. So let's jump into Touch OSC. Now I already have my iPad linked to Touch OSC, so it's already set up here. Uh, but what we're going to work with is just a few buttons. So let's make three buttons. It's a good size. And if you can imagine, you would probably have like a fader or two uh, underneath here. So we're going to keep these up here. So let's add a label as well. I'm going to make this the size of my box and copy and paste and paste another one. And let's go ahead and make these some different colors. So what we're going to send are note messages, a different type of MIDI message than we've talked about before, but that's going to trigger the key switch for whatever our VST is. So first off, what we're going to do with this red one, this one's going to be for trill. So let's just go ahead and uh, change the name of this to Trill. And for this one, let's call this Legato. And let's call this one Doubles. And here on our buttons, right now if I push it you can see nothing's going on. But what we're going to add is a message, a MIDI message. And down here you can see, this is what we typically work with, something called control change. But now we're gonna work with note on. And of course there's all sorts of different fun things that you can play with here, uh, but we're gonna work with note on. But in order to know what notes we need to send in order to call the key switches, we have to know what our VST is asking for because each one is a little different. So we're gonna jump into Reaper this time and take a look at some Cine Samples instruments. All right, so let's go ahead and add in an instrument. For me, that's the insert button. And let's do a violin. And then let's also do a flute. And I'm going to go ahead and color this one just because I can. This is a fun little gadget for Reaper. All right, so what we're going to do is make sure in Reaper that we have our MIDI input uh, just as all channels for right now. And then let's go ahead and add uh, contact. So I'm going to shift and click both of these, and I actually already have a hotkey for that, and that's going to insert contact 7. So let's go ahead and grab a violin. There we go, and let's grab Violin 1 Articulations, and then here let's just grab a core uh, flute. So we'll just do Flute Articulations. So these are the key switches, these green notes here, and if you were playing on a MIDI keyboard, you could push those notes down, and that would accomplish uh, holding those key switches. Now as you're looking at this, this is zero, uh, you would look at this, this would be 13, 
But in fact, it's not because we can go all the way down to negative two. And you see right here, there's actually a legato switch uh, and that is on negative two. Uh, and that would actually be our note zero. So this one here, don't worry, I've already done the counting. This is 37. So here in Touch OSC, our double button, let's take this and let's uh, add our MIDI note. And this is going to be note on. And instead of an index, we're going to make this a constant. And that is 37. So now when I push this button here, let's look back at Reaper. If I am, I need to arm these tracks first. So look over here. Let's go ahead and arm uh, just the violin for right now. If I was to push that double button, you can see that the uh, C sharp here or the D flat is highlighting. And in fact, because I have this with MIDI all channels on, I can play my uh, MIDI keyboard here, an ASM Hydrosynth. And now I'm going to hold the double button. And that's nice and simple. Pretty straightforward, right? You just push the button and then you can send the key switch. So let's take a look at the flute. So in the flute here, what we want to play with is a trill, which is currently not listed. And then we want to move with a legato. So let's actually go up here to mapping. And you can see trill is an option. Right now I have it linked to a CC message. Uh, but let's change that to a key switch. So we can see key switch here for C2. Let's go up and change this to a key switch. And I'm actually going to make this one D flat 2. And this is going to be a half step trill. That's all we're going to deal with right now. And you can see that this has turned red. Let's go ahead in Touch OSC and line those up. So our trill, let's go ahead. We already have that MIDI note here. Let's go ahead and go to a constant and this is not control change it is note on and this is gonna be number one and then legato let's go ahead and add our MIDI note again note on and this is gonna be zero so let's check back in Reaper and make sure that works so here in Reaper right now I have the violin armed Let's turn that off and let's get the flute going here. Now, if I was to push my legato button, you can see that C is highlighting and same thing with the uh, D flat C sharp. So let's play some flute music here. And then with the trills. And then with a legato. So the developers of these instruments have in mind performance. So the key switches for the keyboard are supposed to make it easier for you to be able to perform. Uh, I find it a little difficult to reach all the way down to the bottom of the keyboard and then all the way to the top for a piccolo or a flute and perform. It's just, it doesn't work well. Uh, but something like this using key switches with touch OSC, uh, to me, it's just a lot more simple, a lot easier. And also I never remember what keys I'm supposed to press on a keyboard. So this way I have it notated and it's very clear to me. But as always, we could take it a step further because we can do something with latching. So let's say we want this whole thing to be legato or trills and we don't want to have to hold the button down. Well, of course we could make change this from momentary to toggle press. And so now when we push these buttons down, they'll hold. So if I really want to go legato for a while, And then I can turn off my legato switch and then turn on my trills. 
and I don't have to hold it down, it's just automatically held down by latching. And of course I could turn it off and perform with this. So there's a ton of different instruments that use key switches out there. Uh, so you can use something like this in your template and of course add an XY or a fader to control the expression at the same time. And hopefully this makes it a little simpler to create your template and you don't have to do a CC MIDI learn for a key switch. So hopefully you learned something today. You can like this video and of course subscribe to the channel as we discover more with all of this music production stuff. Thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you next time.